going back down. I'm sorry, yeah. Back down the hill again. Back down, we had a uh, light rain night experience. Um, we discovered that it's difficult to put up cameras in the dark, uh, regardless of just finding your way around in the dark. But as Robert pointed out, it was easy to find trails in the dark for some reason. Um, we're going to go to the site today, put up uh, at least four cameras. We're waiting for Jamie and Steven to uh, show up later and we'll tell them what we did. Leave a few cameras for them to put up so they feel like they did something. And uh, we'll be out of here tonight though. And a few blue skies showing up. There's hope for us yet. Okay, Roddy, what, what were you saying over there? Well, I just did a path of uh, comparing to the pictures that we were looking at from the uh, Murphy book that had some still frames of the last few frames of Patty walking off in the Patterson-Gimlin film. And the two stumps, I think, are still there and still standing, as you can see right through there. Yeah, this, we're going to walk a little bit closer. The shot was taken from over here somewhere. The debris pile, those things sticking up, it's notable. So it moved over here somewhere. The pass and it turned the camera to follow the pathway. And there's a shot between two stumps over this way. We're gonna walk towards them. But you can barely see it. We did a little bit of brush clearing and just more like limbing up the dead branches to see better here. But you see the dark shadow just over here. Those are the two I think we're seeing in the back. Right? Over here, it's these pretty two. significant. Yeah. So you're feeling good about these two here? Yeah, and the one you were talking about has a striation. Has a point? Yes. Has the, uh, the louvers, as you call it. I right. think that would be the, you know, it's obviously, obviously it's lost its bark. Mm -hmm. But uh, those are furs. So we're stumps. thinking this is the pathway taken right through here. So you feel pretty good about that, right? Yeah, I feel pretty good. Yeah, this... After seeing that last uh, frame, and those two stumps right there. She pretty much walks right through the middle of those two. I don't know if she does or not. I don't remember yeah. if it ran out before she got there. Yeah. We'd have to really follow through. Yeah, but we, we pretty much have her path established. And Munz, Munz had, uh, had thrown on the map a little bit. Centerpiece, we came from that direction over there. Root, debris pile, most like shooting through this way towards us. Looking back this way. There. So these two stump pathways right here, when you go way back behind us to shoot this way, these stand out here. This gap right between these two. It looks so far back, it looks pretty wide, but lining up between these, this stump here, and this stump over here is looking really good. The bigger one, and the more curves on the bark, give it a little bit bark effect. And the one on the right, this guy here you can see from back there, this gap between the two of these. From back to here, it looks like it's a pretty narrow gap, but when we get farther back, this gap looks a lot bigger with, uh, use me for your comparison to the shots. But this is a possibility that we don't know if she went through the gap here, but when the last frames are clicking off, this is the direction she's heading towards between these two landmarks that you can see it. And it's kind of going like this. Jostled around, but right between these landmarks here. So I think that's pretty significant. Bill Munns had drawn in some stuff. We had, uh, we, not quite yet, but we will, running off that midline between the pole, uh, pole cube tree, a stag, and the um, smiley face towards uh, Roger's filming position. Well, taking 45 or 90 degree turns off of that, we can measure out the distance from that estimated, and that put, we're gonna probably put it just in this area here. But this is looking, I'm looking right towards where Roger would have been filming back in 20 years ago, correction, 45 years ago, from uh, 1967, shooting this way, watching Paddy leave as he frames run out of his camera. It escapes across here and up the hillside. 
be our first camera position and it's generally looking towards 352, frame 352, which Patty walks by and she's probably somewhere close to this area, right? Yeah. Right, here's one of our markers. This is where I'm assuming she'd walk mm -hmm. by. So basically we're, we're picking the best sound tree and the nice open clear area. And if you could see all the way to the back, you would see our stand of trees, the big uh, old tree, crooked maple, and then the, what do you call that second tree? Uh, the, the big stump. The, yeah. And, and then, then we, have, we have Smiley. Smiley right? stumped us over right here. There. there it is. Yep. The pole is back here somewhere, which is the pole tree and then the middle tree. And then the big tree is over here this way. And then we have the big stump and the leaning stump over here. Which is the background of frame oh, one shooting the side? And then maybe one shooting Patty's path, which is yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. So we'll put two two cameras on one tree, and just for momentous sake, I guess. Yeah. But it is a nice open area, and there's not a lot of open area down here to get good wild cam uh, pictures or videos. Let's just put two videos on this one since okay. we have a long view, and anything walking through. Actually, area. it'd be great if something walks across 352 and is walking towards Patty's path, which is kind of a natural pathway, we'll be able to catch uh, a sequence uh, from one camera to the next. And it's the fall. coming down. Maples are falling. We, we have to stay out of this path. So we're going to retreat back. This yeah. is our furthest camera. Well, I know Jamie likes them low. And if something walks close, I can understand one being low. But we'll do, what do you think? Uh, that's, that's a good height. Yeah, when we got here last night, we sat for, I don't know, close to an hour and um, programmed all these, put the cards in them, put the batteries in them, labeled them. Uh, Robert wrote a list of what each one is and what it's set to. Sounds good. Uh... Yeah, I've got full confidence. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I think you'll be here to check it out anyway. Yeah, we tried to come down last night, and we started coming down. It was getting dark. Rain started picking up. We walked around the bottom a little bit and realized uh, it probably wasn't a good idea to try to set cameras in the dark. And we were starting to get wet, so we gave up. But our biggest concern right now, Jamie, is uh, if we have anything too close to the ground, if we have any kind of flood, um, we're going to be wiping out cameras, so uh, we got to be really uh, discerning on where we put those cameras that are on the ground. You guys just work your way down, and we'll work our way back, and we should meet somewhere in the middle. So we got our first two game cameras set up here at the PG site. Um, one is facing Patty's path, the way she would have looked as she's walking. That is our camera B. Is this way? And so our second camera. There. The stumps that she walks through. Yeah. Our second camera here is generally facing um, Patterson's view of 352, frame 352. And we've got a nice clear area here. Um, Pretty established game pass through here. So we're shooting back towards. Can't quite see our trees in the background, um, but we're close to seeing all the way to the bank. Actually, you can see all the way to the bank. Goes on forever, it seems. Found a camp to stay for the night.